of the Cowboys' contracts. According to Calvin Watkins of the Dallas Morning News, maybe C.D. Lamb's deal gets done sooner than later. Watkins writing, according to one person with knowledge of the front office's thinking, the Cowboys are putting Lamb's contract ex extension ahead of Dak Prescott's. Nick, we'll start with you. Is this a good idea? Well, this is not the way teams typically operate. Uh, I thought Danny Parkins, when he was on this show, but then did a longer piece on it, was filling in for the herd the other day, mm -hmm. made the point. The Cowboys have three contracts up. Their quarterback, their star pass rusher, and their wide receiver. And the point he made that I'll echo, because I think it's a smart one, is recent NFL history tells us only one of those contracts ever doesn't get done, and that's the wide receivers. There's no nobody nobody lets a quarterback hit free agency and nobody trades a guy like Micah Parsons Correct. coming off his rookie deal. But a lot of star receivers coming off their rookie deal or wanting to get paid get traded. The Diggs got traded in Minnesota. I know he just got traded again, but I'm talking about years yeah. ago in Minnesota. Devontae, Tyreek, AJ Brown, there's you know others. Can I make an argument? Sure. Was, was Minnesota being like, no, J JJ's our guy, and Kirk, you can roll? Well, no, they didn't. You you, didn't know you they were didn't know they JJ. were getting JJ. They had no, no, I'm, I'm sorry, Justin Jefferson. No, not, I understand, but they McCarthy. didn't know that they were getting Justin Jefferson. In the draft. They didn't know, they didn't know the draft was going to fall that way. No, it was they did not. They knew they were going to get a first-round pick and probably draft a wide receiver, but they needed the Eagles uh, to draft, was it? Uh, Rager. Rager. They, yeah. Good job. Well, well done, Wild. Damn, I'm um, Jalen Rager, you know, one know spot there. Collins so the, the Okay. <laughs> um, but so, no, they, they knew they were probably going to reset the salary uh, structure at wide receiver. The Chiefs traded Tyreek. The Raiders traded for Devontae. Packers got rid of him. So this is typically not what teams would do. If they have to make a choice, it's like, well, there's a lot of good wide receivers and we don't want to pay top of the market. I think Dallas is doing this because they know CD's awesome, Micah's going to get paid, and I think they are unsure about whether or not they want to pay Dak. Jeez. So they know they want to pay CD, they know they want to keep him, so he jumps Dak in the priority <laughs> list, which is not unreasonable to me, but it is unconventional. It is very unconventional, and you prioritize what's most important to you. And right now, the Dallas Cowboys are letting the world know and C.D. Lamb, no, you are most important. Mm. And this is odd because you mentioned it. Traditionally, across the league, you always take care of your quarterback first and then everything else, domino effects off of that. However, when you look at this team offensively, we have seen Dak Prescott not show up when they needed him to show up most in the postseason. I truly believe, I'm with you, I believe that they are out I, and I'm going to say out on Dak Prescott leading this team to be a contender to mm. win a Super Bowl. Mm. I don't think they believe he can do it. Now, I believe that they understand that they have pieces and they feel like, okay, if Dak Prescott's going to be a top 10 middle tier quarterback. Eighth to 14th is, in the league. Especially in the postseason. Well, we can get a quarterback that can keep us afloat and that we can drop that salary from Dak Prescott and then continue to keep all these other awesome pieces that you mentioned yeah. that they're going to pay. So I don't think this is – it is strange from a traditional standpoint and how the league typically orders the contracts. But for da Dallas and the, Cowboy the Dallas Cowboys, no, they're prioritizing what's most important, specifically on the offensive side of the ball, and that's E.D. Lamb. All right, so, so I – okay, I find this super interesting because the Cowboys – Oh, man, they keep going all over the place, right? And I think the fact that they are prioritizing Lamb's deal, it's both shocking and not shocking because we've seen how this whole offseason has unfolded, right? The whole back and forth, we're all in. Well, we're all in on the players that we have. Well, we want Dak to, where Dak's going to be on to essentially show me what you got. And it's been talked about a lot now, especially by these people up here at the table saying they think that the Dallas Cowboys want to see what Dak can do this season. Um, and based off of that, then they'll make their decision. And I keep saying, we already know exactly who Dak is. You either love him and want him to be the quarterback of your team, or you're going to move on. He can't show you anything this season that's going to be new information. It's just not. And he's not going to magically just now make it to the Super Bowl with a worse team than he did last season. And Dak's not going to magically take some gigantic step forward and be this bona fide top one, top two quarterback in the NFL. It's just not going to happen. So the question then is, is like, is this just good 
from a roster building, franchise building into the future move for the Dallas Cowboys to lock in Lamb, to lock in Micah, and then move on from Dak. And the truth is, I think when you lock in Lamb and you lock in Micah, you're still now popular because these are big names, of course, and you're still the Dallas Cowboys. And they still, you're, you're getting them where they're young enough where by the time you get a quarterback, you'll be able to then still be relevant. But the truth is, for you to really be able to take advantage of Micah, for you to really be able to take advantage of Lamb and their greatness, and since you're going to be paying them top of the market money, you need a good to great quarterback like immediately if it's not going to be Dak. So that's where I'm just kind of trying to, because Greg said, oh, that we know that we can get another quarterback. But my big question is like, where though? Um, I think a lot of people see the successes of Purdy, see the successes of CJ Stroud, see the successes of Jordan Love and think, okay, we can get a quarterback and we can have success very quickly. I think even the Cowboys kind of see see their team as like, if we build our team good enough, we could have success with a J.J. McCarthy, with a Jaden, uh, with a um, Bo Nix even, right? Like, I think they potentially see that. But I just don't know where where that's coming from if unless the Cowboys have to, like, really trade up. Like, because cause they should be good enough with this team to not be able to to not be able to get like a top five quarterback in the in the next draft or so, and I now other people are probably going to be like Trey Lance, Trey Lance, Trey Lance. I do not think Trey Lance is going to be a good quarterback. I've said that a million times now, but a lot of Cowboys fans are holding off faith that Trey Lance, Trey Lance, Trey Lance. That's fine. You guys keep wishing for that and hoping for that. I do not see it coming. I just do not see it coming. Um, if that was the case, then I would be trying to move on from Dak right now. Seriously, I mean, if 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 Trey Lance was showing you enough, you would then say, Dak, we're not going to re-sign you. We're going to trade you. Or you're going to sit on this bench this whole year and potentially ruin your value. Like, why don't we trade you? Why don't we set, try to send you to a team that you can that you can play now? Otherwise, you know, we're not going to do it. Because obviously, he still has that no trade calls. Like, I would try to be doing something. Anything but whatever the heck they're doing here. And it doesn't seem like that's what they're doing. So I don't see how Trey Lance is just going to be able to magically step up. The best move that Dallas Cowboys could have done was to try to move on from Dak earlier on in the in the offseason and go out and get Kirk Cousins. Because now you have this great team, this great roster, relatively speaking, and now you can get a quarterback in Kirk Cousins for like $45 million. That's like saving you $15-plus million a year. And then you move on from Dak. I mean, like, to me, that is where the Cowboys would be able to have a lot more success. But they're stuck in this one foot in this room and one foot in the other room. And now it's like, well, or what are we doing with Dak? Are we not keeping Dak? Are we paying Dak $60 million? Are we going to move on from Dak? Like, and it's just like, where's, where's the clarity of this season? And, it's, and it is interesting because if you are going to pick a lamb, you know, lamb over Dak, well, you still need to give Lamb a good quarterback to be able to take advantage of Lamb's greatness. And so again, it's like, where is that quarterback coming from? So I, I really am struggling to, to grasp the logic and how this is all unfolding appropriately at this point. I, I'm, I'm, I really am genuinely confused because if they pay everyone and they ultimately then move on from Dak, there is no quarterback that they're going to be able to either steal from another team. Like there is no other Kirk Cousins out there right now, at least not to my knowledge, that will then put the Cowboys in immediate contention and to be able to maximize. Because also the other problem is, is you pay Micah all this money as well, and CD Lamb for that matter, although CD Lamb is definitely obviously a lot more quiet. And they're not winning, and they do, and they are playing this like, you know, bootleg situation with bootleg quarterbacks, and they can't like lock it down. Everyone, they're going to be really upset. And the fans are going to be really upset and the media is going to rip them. And it's just, it'll just be a domino effect. It'll just implode. And to me, that's why they're probably afraid. I think they're afraid to move on from Dak, but they know they kind of need to, but they've set themselves in a situation where there is no easy transition beyond Dak. 
I think that's kind of where they are. In a, in a way, they need like a Baker Mayfield for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. They needed like maybe even like, hey, let's pull a flyer on a Sam Darnold to the Minnesota Vikings, the Kirk Cousins to the Atlanta Falcons. They missed that timeline. That that Those quarterbacks were kind of floating around and they could have done it, but they didn't. And so now they're just in this really messy situation that it's hard for me to see how they stick to landing. I, I just don't, I don't see it. I really don't. Because this season, even if they keep Dak, let's say like there's no shock move where they don't move on or they, or they you know, Dak just doesn't sign a, a contract this offseason and now he just plays throughout this coming season. I, I just, I still don't know what the plan is moving forward. I think they're potentially, what they're trying to hope is that they, if they pay everyone else and then they go to Dak and they're like, we don't only have so much money. Don't you want to be a cowboy? Like you want to tell CD Lamb that he doesn't deserve that money and Micah doesn't deserve that money? We know they do. So come on, you got to either sign here or move on. You know, like they're, they're going to try to back Dak up into the corner. But reportedly, that's not what Dak wants. Dak wants top dollar. Dak doesn't see himself as underperforming. He doesn't see it that way. I don't think he really takes the responsibility for that. He's kind of like, oh, I'm balling out. I'm doing everything I can. It's not my fault. So I don't know, man. The, the Cowboys just keep getting more and more interesting because it just, it gets more and more interesting because they just keep getting messier and messier. But those are just my thoughts. I would absolutely love to hear yours. What do you guys all think? Do you think that it's a big mistake for the for Dallas to prioritize Lamb over Dak and Micah for that matter as well? Let me know in the comments below. I read every single comment. So whether you agree with me or disagree with me, either way, let's get in some discussions. Let's get in some fights. But ultimately, let's just have some fun. And please do consider subscribing. We are building an amazing community here, and I would absolutely love to see you part of it. I want to build something that we all genuinely feel connected to, something that we're really excited to be part of. I think we're well on our way to doing it. And please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, as it really does help with the visibility and the algorithm. Thank you so much, and see you next time.